Everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing Sam's Chicken. Sam's Chicken is a vegetarian dish that they do at some of the colleges. Uh, Andrews University is one of them. But anyway, what we're going to be utilizing is this quick chick roll. And it's just wheat and soybeans, okay? And how we're going to make it is I'm doing this early because I need to let it sit for at least an hour before I fry it up. So all I'm going to do is, this is a quart, as you can see, of buttermilk. I'm just going to put this in here, just like that. And then it calls for a third cup of hot sauce. Well, I doubled it because you guys know I like my stuff hot. And the garlic is oxidized because I cut it up and I, I did it. I missed it yesterday, so it's just from the air and nothing's wrong with it. It's at me very good and that's about six cloves you're supposed to use but I'm using 12 I'm doubling my garlic as well so all we're gonna do is just mix this up like this and this roll you can find at any of your health food stores specifically if you live like in the Inland Empire or um, around San Bernardino area you can find it at like La Sierra the, the market there and any other type of um, Adventist food store. All right, so all you're going to do now is you're just going to start. I'm going to cut this open real quick, and we're just going to start tearing off pieces. See, it looks just like this just a roll of soy meat, chicken flavored. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to tear off pieces. Hold on. Just going to tear off pieces like this and then put them in this mixture right here. Just tear off the pieces. Cause we're going to... All right, everybody, I'm just putting the pieces in here, like I said. I'm just dropping them in, just tearing off pieces. Now, I do have a question that was posed by Lindsay. She wanted to know what does stay frosty mean, because that's what I always say when I end it, stay frosty. Well, I've been um, using that term since I was in the military years ago. But what it actually means, it has a couple different meanings, but they all kind of end up being the same thing. In the military, it means uh, be alert and be aware, you know, of where you are, your surroundings. It also means be careful. So when I say it, because I say it when I, um, anytime I teach a class and I leave my students, I tell them to stay frosty. So be safe, be careful, be aware of where you are. And that's answering Lindsay's question. And thank you, Lindsay, for that question. All right, you guys, I'll see you in a minute. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now I've gotten a lot of inquiries about my shirt, where to buy this particular shirt at, and here is the information right here. It's called 2726 Creations, and this is the store. You can go and you can purchase that. You can also purchase these bags. There's two other designs that I don't have here, and if you go in there, you'll find out about the artists and everything. And these bags are for anything you want, but for grocery shopping, they're lined. As you can see right here, they're lined inside. So if you spill something, it won't um, go through the bag. But anyway, go ahead and check them out at our store and check out the shirts. There's different designs there as well. And if you like what you see, go ahead and get one, okay? All right, now let's get back to what we were doing. All right, so anyway, here's the Sam's Chicken. It's been sitting in this buttermilk concoction for two hours now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and what you're supposed to do is, first of all, let me tell you what's here. This is two cups of flour, but I believe I use three cups. Um, you're supposed to use two cups of flour, a quarter cup of chicken seasoning, and it can be any kind you like, but it's usually the vegan or McKay's, um, this type of broth. Half a cup of nutritional yeast flakes, which we introduced before in another video. Black pepper and any type of salt that you like. I like using different salts, so today I use sea salt. Okay, so anyway, what you're supposed to do is 
And that's already mixed up in here. Everything's mixed up. You can see everything in there already. So what you do is you just take the pieces of this and you kind of kind of try to squeeze out the excess buttermilk, dip it in the egg, and then you're just going to throw it in here. Different pieces. I don't think you really have to, there's not a lot of buttermilk on here. Just a little bit. Dip it in the egg. And then you're just going to throw it in here and get it lightly floured and everything. All right, everybody, welcome back. So now what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to start frying this. And it takes uh, three cups of oil and one stick of butter. Of course, mine has a little bit more. And then you got to make sure that it's bubbling because it takes forever to cook if you don't, if it's not in there right. But be careful, like I always say, when you're dropping stuff in, that you don't burn yourself because it's hot. And we're just dropping the pieces in there. And I, of course, I hate cleaning up all this oil, even though it gets a little bit in anytime you're frying. So I use my little cover that kind of protects somewhat the stove from getting so messy. So you guys, if you do a lot of frying, you should probably invest in one of these because it really does help. Make some more room here. I still have a lot more to fry up. Just trying to see if I can fit all this in here. Like I said, be very careful around this hot oil if you decide to try this recipe out, which I hope some of you will. Let me move this and just gonna make sure they're getting in there. And then you're gonna these are gonna fry for about eight to ten minutes till they're golden brown. And we're gonna leave that there and I'm gonna cover this up real quick. And I'll see you in a minute, and I'll show you what the finished product looks like. All right, see you in a minute. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Here we come with the finished product, Sam's Chicken right here. And I've also made rice, and I made some fresh black beans today to go right along with this. So, once again, if you guys like what you see, subscribe. Also, shout out to Lindsay again, and everybody else, stay frosty. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah.